Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, is part confession, part rant and part love letter. In places, it feels like the longest angry drunk text ever sent. According to the BBC, it's the weirdest book ever written by a royal. It's a view from inside what he calls a surreal fishbowl and unending Truman Show. We're given glimpses of him as a royal stoner, smoking a joint after dinner and self-medicating with psychedelic drugs. What other royal book would cover losing one's virginity behind a pub or go into such prolonged detail about a frostbitten penis? This royal appendage gets more lines than many of his relatives. His pre meghan life in London was ostensibly full of luxury, but it also feels as though he was undercover in his own life. Harry suffered from panic attacks, awful for anyone, but debilitating for someone expected to speak and appear in public. But it's a profoundly odd life, moving suddenly between this lack of glamour to times with the international jet set. Harry says he watches the TV show Friends on loop, identifying with the funny guy Chandler. But then on a trip to the US, he is at a party with Courtney Cox, the actress who plays Chandler's on-screen wife, Monica. He ends up taking hallucinogenic drugs and watches a pedal bin coming to life. It's a long way from the commentary for Trooping the Colour. The ghost-written work is a fast-paced, quick-fire account looking out from the inside, always scratchily aware of the bodyguards outside the door and the cameras waiting to catch him. As a schoolboy smoking cannabis with his friends, he watches the police outside there to guard him. He's back and forth to Africa like he's going a few stops on the Northern Line. While copiously indiscreet about the interior of royal life, it remains strangely silent on any views about the outside world, even though he's no longer a working royal. 